Hey guys, it's Brian. Yeah, let's go, Brian. Uh, hey, if you're a home buyer, you need to pay attention, okay? And I know that I'm going to sound mad, okay? And I am pissed off, to be honest with you, because buyers are trying to buy, sellers are trying to sell. Of course, that's always been the nature of real estate. But the interest rates are going up. And what does that mean? It means like on a $400,000 loan, your payment today is about $500 more than it was two months ago. A house that you might have looked at two months ago at six hundred thousand, now you would be able to look at that house for four hundred and fifty thousand, based on the payment that you can afford, based on your income. So yeah, it's tough. I know it's tough, and there's a couple of things. One, you need to act now. We're, we're, right now, we're at the levels back around interest rates were where they were about two thousand eighteen. So not way out of line, right? But how are you going to be able to find a home to buy? You're saying, yeah, that's great. And I'm, I, I'm ready to go, except I can't find a house to buy. When I do find a house, I've got like eight other offers, 10 other offers, 20 other offers on it. Well, you know what, folks? You need to be working with an agent that's going to find you a house that's not in a competitive situation. We have tools available to us. Once again, I don't mean to sound angry, but you know, dang, we've got tools available to us that are called predictive analysis. We can go into an area, into a neighborhood, and run algorithms to say, how long have those people been in the house? Are they empty nesters? Do they own other property? How, what's their loan amount? And this will give us an idea of who's most likely to put their home up for sale or may want to sell. And then we can approach those people. We can knock on their door. We can send them mailers. We can send them a postcard. If your agent's not doing that for you, you need to consider changing to another agent, okay? Bottom line. Uh, if they're like, I don't know, I'm going to put mailing and mail and try to address envelopes and put in postage. I don't know. Hey, we make a good living. Okay, when we sell a house, we may make five or six thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollar commissions on some of the sales of these homes. Now, if you've got an agent that's working with you and they're not willing to go ahead and be proactive and aggressive like that for you in this market, well, guess what? Interest rates are at five percent today, they're going to be at seven percent, eight percent. The Fed has already indicated that they're planning to increase rates. Four more, four or five more times this year. So what's that going to do with mortgage? What's that going to do with the affordability of the home you're going to be able to buy? Okay, all of a sudden that house you can say we can afford a six hundred thousand dollar house. Now it's going to be well, it's four hundred and fifty now to keep our payments where we want, and there's no houses for four hundred and fifty. Now we have to wait for the market to adjust, and then the sellers can't sell because. There aren't enough buyers now that can afford to buy their house. Now the prices are going to start to come down and that could be years, right? So if you want to buy, you need to buy now while the interest rates are where they are and you need to have a good agent working for you that's going to go and be proactive, find the home that you can buy where you don't have to compete with 20 other offers because they've knocked on the door, they've done their homework, they've been aggressive, they've gone in and said, I've got a buyer for your house. You want to sell? Call me, let's talk, let's put a deal together. And that's how it happens behind the scenes, folks. You may not understand all the ins and outs of how that, that happens. But after 44 years of being in business doing this, I pretty much have an idea of how, the, how things work on the back end. So once again, don't mean to sound mad or to sound angry, but you know, I've got buyers out there that have been in the situation. They're just like on a, you know, on a hamster wheel. It's, it's really sad and I'm trying to stop it. So. Once again, you can always feel you can reach out to me with any questions. I don't care where you are. 720-808-1007.